I'm Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. Are you ready to explore the jungle? There are parts of three jungles here, all from different parts of the world. The Amazon area includes the jungles of South and Central America. It holds many neat things, like toucans and monkeys and even blue frogs. The African area has elephants and electric catfish and chameleons. In the Asian area, there are dragons and spitting fish, and even a plant that eats bugs. Why, there are just hundreds of things to see and do. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! These odd little fish come out of the water and crawl on the mud. They still need water to breathe, so they hold water in their gills as they move from one water pool or river to another. Mud skippers can skip around as far as two feet before needing another gulp of water. In water, mud skippers hide in the mud and only come out to snap up nearby food with their big mouths. When mud skippers fight, each raises its fins in warning and then charges the other fish. But their attacks seem harmless as they just hit each other with their open mouths. Tangled roots growing right out of the river make these trees look like gangly dancers. Above water, the bare roots breathe the air. Underwater, the roots trap mud, leaves, and other scraps to anchor the tree to the river bottom. Its spear-length seeds begin growing into trees while still on the parent tree. Once a baby tree drops into the water, it quickly sends its roots to the bottom to keep it from floating away. While dangerous creatures like mangrove snakes lurk in its roots, mangroves also give a home to proboscis monkeys, birds, and other friendly creatures. Oh. Slow, slow loris, eh, the slow loris moves as slow as a sloth, but it's really a lemur. The loris hangs from a branch during the day, sleeping with its head tucked between its feet. At night, the slow loris moves through the understory trees in search of food. It's not a fussy eater, eating anything from fruit to leaves to smaller animals. After a meal, it goes back to resting or cleans itself with its comb-like front teeth. This reptile is one of the world's biggest lizards, growing up to 10 feet long. Because they are so big, Komodos are sometimes called the land crocodile. Although they stand low to the ground, Komodo dragons can attack animals as big as a taper. Komodos use their long, thick tail to knock away other animals trying to get at their food. After eating a big meal, a Komodo dragon will be full for days and spend its time just lying in the sun. Coconuts are this crab's favorite food. If it isn't lucky enough to find a coconut on the ground, the coconut crab goes right up the coconut tree to get one. Using its sharp leg tips like spikes, the crab can walk up a tree trunk as high as 80 feet. Then it snips off a coconut with its large claw and lets the coconut drop to the ground. The crab must then walk backwards all the way down the tree. If the crab is lucky, the coconut broke open when it hit the ground. 
Otherwise, the coconut crab opens the coconut with its claws. Then it scoops out the inside with its legs and has a feast. Coconut. Coconuts are the seeds of coconut palm trees. The huge hairy shells hang way up in the top of the tree and fall off once they're ripe. People often don't want to wait for the coconut to fall. They will either climb up the tree to get a coconut or cut off the coconut with a knife stuck in a long pole. A hungry coconut crab will also climb the tree to get to its favorite food. Since coconuts float, and the trees will grow near the ocean, coconuts have floated to shores all over the world. Palm trees usually have straight, thin trunks without any branches. Some trunks are as thin as a pencil, while others are as wide as a bed. Unlike most trees, the palm tree's trunk will stay the same size for most of its life. At the top of the trunk grow tough leathery leaves shaped like a long feather or a wide fan. Palm trees can usually be found growing in any hot jungle. One of the tallest is the coconut palm tree. This beautiful fish swims just below the water's surface. Biting fish are covered with red, green, or blue dots, usually arranged in a row. While these fish look nice as they quietly feed on crabs, worms, and bugs, they are really quite mean. Males are especially unfriendly and will put up a good fight to keep other fish out of their area. Attacking males will try to eat each other's fins until one swims away. Their name fits them very well. fish use their mouth like a water gun, shooting bugs off of leaves and branches with squirts of water. Archer fish can hit a bug as far as six feet away and quickly gobble it up when it falls into the river. Their aim is so good they hardly ever need more than two shots. If a bug is very close to the river, sometimes the archer fish will jump right out of the water to get it. Most archer fish live in mangrove swamps and rivers. Hey. The outer armor of this crab is shaped like a horseshoe. A spiky tail sticking out of the back of their body looks dangerous, but really isn't. Horseshoe crabs crawl along the bottom of shallow rivers, eating clams, worms, and seaweed. Horseshoe crabs have claws on each of their ten legs instead of the two claws that most crabs have. They also have blue blood, which doctors can use when testing people for some types of illnesses. The beauty of this stone comes from its red color. Rubies were formed in the earth a long time ago from colorless rocks that have another mineral mixed in with them. If the rock then became red, it was a ruby. Otherwise, it became a sapphire. Not only are they beautiful, but rubies are also about as hard as diamonds. People find rubies the same way they find gold, by searching in rivers and caves. All you can see of these shellfish is their shell house. The mussel shell is made up of two halves that are joined at the bottom with a thick thread. Living inside the shell is the mussel. 
a creature that looks like a white blob. They walk by pushing out a blobby foot to slowly crawl along the river bottom. Mussels usually dig down into the sand or mud and leave just the tip of their shells showing. With the tip open, mussels feed on the tiny things floating in the water. If sand gets inside the shell, some mussels coat it with a substance to make it less irritating. This coated sand is what we call a pearl. This dangerous snake is named for the mangrove swamps where it lives. The brightly colored rings of the mangrove snakes are a warning that they have poison in their fangs. They hunt at night, searching for birds, rats, and mice. <coughs> 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 Pythons and anacondas are the biggest snakes in the world. Some pythons have grown to be as long as 30 feet. In spite of their size, pythons are hard to see because their brown patch skin blends in with the colors of the jungle. Pythons hunt both during the day and at night, using the tip of their tongue to smell food. Once they catch a small animal, they squeeze the life out of it and then swallow it in one big piece. Strutting around the jungle floor, these lanky birds look a lot like chickens. They're really jungle fowls, the ancestors of the chicken. Like the cock of the rock, the female's feathers are dull, while the male's feathers are bright and showy. To attract a female, the male performs an amazing dance where it bows down and flaps its wings. If another male tries to cut in on the dance, they fight with the sharp spurs on their feet. If a smell like rotten onions floats over the jungle floor, the moon rat is probably close by. These bad-smelling creatures spend their nights hunting for bugs, fish, crabs, and snails. They can also use their long nose to dig up tasty roots. The moon rat's only real enemies are snakes, which seem to enjoy eating moon rats in spite of their bad smell. Tigers are one of the biggest cats in the world. Their dark stripes and orange fur make them hard to see in the shadows of the jungle floor. Tigers hunt alone at night, walking very quietly and crouching down so they can sneak up on tapers and other animals. When attacking an animal, tigers take one big leap and pull it down by grabbing its throat. A tiger can eat 55 pounds of food in one meal and will hide any leftovers. On hot days, tigers cool themselves by swimming in ponds and rivers. Funguses are in a class by themselves because they are not animals and not plants. Molds found growing on bread, mildew growing in the bathroom, and mushrooms are all different types of fungus. Funguses cannot make their own food so they grow on plants and animals to get food. Funguses grow best in warm, humid areas and are very common in jungles. Many types of fungus are useful, slowly changing the dead plants and animals that they live on into soil. Some funguses are bad because plants get sick when the fungus grows on them or animals get sick when they eat the fungus. Naturalists know of more than 100,000 types of funguses but at least twice as many types are still unknown. <laughs> <laughs>
These unusual ants make their home in the understory by sewing up a leaf. First, an ant chooses a leaf and works to fold the leaf in half. Once the edges start to touch each other, more ants join in and hold the leaf's edges together. Baby ants spin out a silky thread, which the parents use to sew up the leaf. Inside the sewn leaf, the ants make a nest for as few as 12 or as many as 300 ants. After making the nest, they begin the important task of looking for bugs to eat. Weaver ants either grab the bugs with their big jaws or spray the bugs with poison. Even though these bugs eat tree sap right in front of their enemies, they are hardly ever noticed. Tree hoppers sit close together on a branch where their color and pointy shape make them look like part of the tree. Enemies glancing at them don't even notice them. This colorful bird prefers the safety of the night. Pittas feed at night, taking long easy hops along the jungle floor as they look for food. They usually eat seeds, berries, bugs, and snails. When they catch a snail, the pitta throws the shell onto a stone to break it and quickly gobbles down the exposed snail. Even though they have a fat body and short tail, pittas can fly away quickly if they're scared. If they need to escape an enemy, they can make a cry that sounds like it's coming from somewhere else. The enemy then walks toward where it thinks the pitta's voice comes from, and the pitta has time to fly away during the confusion. Slow-moving sloth bears shuffle along the jungle floor or climb into the understory trees looking for termites and ants. Like the giant anteater in Tamandua, sloth bears can use their big claws to dig into termite nests. Then the bears stick their lips out to form a short tube, sucking up the bugs like a vacuum cleaner. The slurping noise they make while vacuuming bugs is so loud it can be heard hundreds of feet away. To keep the bugs from crawling into their nose while eating, sloth bears can close their nostrils. Male fiddler crabs have one normal claw and one huge claw. This huge claw is often seen flashing in the sun when a fiddler crab is warning other crabs to stay away. Both male and female fiddler crabs use their small claws to pick up the tiny plants they eat. Each crab makes a tunnel in the sand, burrowing down as deep as a foot. When the tide comes in, the crab covers the tunnel hole with a mud door and sits inside its dry home until the tide goes back out. Scorpions can grow up to five inches long, and their tail often has a poison stinger on the end. Scorpions use the stinger to knock out the spiders and other bugs they eat. Scorpions that lose their legs or tail in a fight can grow them back if they live long enough. Scorpions hunt at night, and in the day hide under rocks or in cracks to keep cool. Female scorpions carry their babies around on their back until the babies can take care of themselves. These wild jungle dogs don't bark. Instead, they talk to each other by whining, growling, and whistling. 
so sometimes they're called the whistling dog. Doles travel through the jungle in packs, looking for food. They'll follow an animal for hours, jogging along until it gets too tired and stops running. If a tiger tries to take their food, doles will chase it away, even though the tiger is twice their size. Doles are very ferocious animals, not at all like the friendly dogs people have for pets. This soft fruit comes in all sizes, as small as 3 inches and as big as 12 inches. Bananas also come in colors from pale yellow to dark red. One type of banana, called the plantain, must be cooked before eaten and tastes a bit like a potato. The first banana tree farms were started in India over 4,000 years ago. When banana farms were started in Africa, chimpanzees soon discovered how good bananas tasted. Today, banana trees grow in jungles all over the equator. These shy animals are smaller cousins of the horse and rhinoceros. Tapers live alone, spending most of the night eating plants on the jungle floor. Their keen sense of smell helps them find the tastiest plants, and they use their flexible nose to pull the food into their mouth. When scared, tapers run and jump into a nearby river and swim underwater. If the taper is lucky, the enemy will leave before the taper comes up for air. Below the long stem and grass-like leaves of this plant grows the knobby brown root called ginger. Ginger has a hot sweet flavor that is used in cooking soups, meats, cookies, and cakes. It is also used in drinks like ginger ale and to flavor some medicines. All these things can be made from fresh ginger root or from a powder made from dried ginger root. A bower is an archway of leaves and vines, shaped like the letter U. The male bower bird builds his bower to attract a female. He starts building the bower out of sticks, and then decorates it with colorful flowers, seeds, berries, and plants. After the bower is finished, he calls the females to see his colorful bower. If a female approves of the male's bower, both bower birds leave the bower to start a family. The actual nest is built out of twigs in another part of the jungle. Most plants are content to make food from sunlight and dirt, but pitcher plants prefer to eat bugs. Its leaves are shaped like a water pitcher with juice sticking to the opening. Bugs land on the leaf and follow the juice trail into the bulging center. Once inside, the bugs fall into a pool of poison in the center and drown. Some pitcher plants are so big, a pigeon could fit inside. The cobra is one of the deadliest snakes in the world. Instead of squeezing their victims like the python and anaconda, cobras have a fast-acting poison they use when they bite their victim. When a small animal is bitten, the cobra's poison takes effect before the animal can run away. The poison is so powerful, a single bite can kill an elephant in four hours and a person in 15 minutes. Some cobras can even spit the poison at a victim. 
When cobras are afraid or surprised, they raise themselves up and puff out the skin around their head to make themselves look bigger. They also make a hissing sound, warning other creatures that the cobra is willing to fight.